In this quick tutorial, we're going to learn how to do damage over time. So open up the third person template and navigate to the third person folder, blueprints, and open up the third person character. In here, we're going to want to create a variable called health and change its value to or its type to a float. Compile, change the default value to 100. Compile and save. Now we want to create a widget blueprint. I'm going to call this health. Widget blueprint health. We want to create a canvas panel. Drag that out. Then create a progress bar. Drag that out. I'm going to extend this out a little bit. And this little widget, drag a corner so it displays nicely on our viewport. Now, we want to bind this to the player's health. So under progress, we click bind, create binding. And we need to get the player's health. So we need to go up to event pre-construct. Don't need this stuff. Cast to third person character. The object will be get player character. And just promote this to a variable. Compile, save. Go back to percent, drag in your third person character, and we want to get its health. So get health. Then we want to take this health and divide this health by 100. Compile, save, and now we're done with the health bar. So we can X this out and go back to third person character. And up here where it says add input mapping, the end of this, we want to just create widget, the one we just made, health, and add to viewport. Okay, compile, save. Now, one last blueprint to create is an actor called damage. So double click that. We're going to add a box collision. We're going to take this box collision and drag it up to the default scene root so that it makes it the new root. Compile and save. Now, what we want is for when the third person character steps over this box, the character takes damage. So right click, add event on component begin overlap. You want to cast to third person character. The object will be other actor. Right click back on box. And when it ends overlap, we want this same reference to the third person character. Compile and save. So one last thing we want to do is jump back to the viewport, click the box and just type in hidden and uncheck that. Pile, save. Okay, so let's go back to the third person character. And what we want is to set event, set timer by event. So the event will be called, let's create a custom event. This will be Take damage. And this event, take damage, let's create another custom event. Just gonna call this damage. We're gonna set this time to 0.1 and looping. Then we're going to take the health, drag that in. We're gonna subtract this. By five. Then we're going to set the health like this so that when the character walks over 
the box, it'll take five health every 0.1 seconds and it'll be on a loop. So compile and save. Let's uh, jump back into our BP damage blueprint. And out here, drag this over here, the take damage event, let's call this from here, take damage, compile and save. Let's test this out real quick. Oh, let's drag the damage out into the scene, R to scale, let's press play. So while we're in the box, we take damage, but we took damage all the way. So we need to create another custom event. So when we stop overlapping the box, stop taking damage. So uh, we want to custom event, stop damage. So here we want to invalidate timer, clear and invalidate timer by handle. So this handle, drag it up to the return value of this timer, and it'll just stop this timer completely when this event triggers. So compile and save, go back to the damage, and rename that stop damage. So stop damage, compile and save. Press play. So we're in the box, we're taking damage, we're out of the box, not taking damage. Now, that's pretty much all this tutorial is. However, for bonus content, how about when you get to zero, you ragdoll and die? Let's do that real quick. So, jump back to the third person character. We want to type in set simulate physics, the mesh. We want to set physics blend weight for the mesh and set collision enabled we're going to change that to collision enabled uh, we're going to change this physics blend weight to one and we're going to check that box so we want to connect all these up and create one more custom event We're gonna call this Ragdoll. And we're gonna plug that in like that. So our character mesh, I'll delete this to make things a little bit more organized. Here we go. Let's drag in our health and say if health is less or equal to zero, create a branch, then ragdoll. And we're just going to create event tick like that. So every time our health is equal or below zero, we're going to ragdoll. Compile and save. Let's jump back here. So we're in, we're out, we're in, and dead. I hope you got something out of this and learned something new or figured out something cool. Have a good day.